Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is another yoga pose tutorial video where I show you how to get into some of yoga's most commonly used poses. Today's pose was suggested by one of my subscribers. So if that was you, thank you so much for suggesting this pose. And the pose is Lotus Pose, also known as Padmasana. Lotus pose is, pose is great for stretching the groin, the quads, and the ankles. It's also great for your posture because we are practicing sitting nice and tall and straight. So let's jump into the tutorial. So you can start seated with your legs extended out in Dandasana. And then we are going to bring each foot into our hip socket. So start by bending your knee. And then when you start to bring the foot into the hip socket, we want to rotate at the hip, not the knee. So think about opening the hip rather than trying to force your knee in a particular position, if that makes sense. If you lead from the hip, the rest of your leg will follow. So again, we're opening up at the hip, we're bending at the right knee first, opening up at the hip, and then we're gonna take our right foot, resting it in our left hip socket. So hip rotates, foot rests inside the hip socket, and then your knee kind of follows. Your knee will kind of naturally start to angle down towards the ground. So this is how it looks on this side. We're doing the same thing on the other side. Bending our left knee, rotating from our hip. And this time we have to bring this leg on top of this one. So we lift our shin up a little bit. That knee is gonna start to lower down towards our mat. And we tuck it into the right hip. So when you're in full lotus pose, it looks like this. Sitting nice and tall and straight. Now I am going to let you know some modifications. Your knees may be high off the ground. You may be finding this painful in your hips. So we'll offer some modifications, but keep your feet kind of active here in the pose, uh, slightly flexing your feet. And again, we want our knees to extend down towards the mat. Now, if your body is rounded, if your lotus pose looks like this, Grab yourself a block, grab yourself a pillow, grab yourself a rolled up blanket. Go ahead and bring it underneath the hips. It's gonna open those hips up a little bit more. And my knees, of course, are just gonna go straight down to the ground once I elevate my hips a little bit. You can also take a block on either side. And if your knees are really high, bring it up underneath the knees. And that'll kind of lift the knees and give them something to rest on. So you can either bring the block underneath your hips or you can bring a block underneath each one of your knees and it'll help you to sit nice and straight and tall. Think about a imaginary string pulling the top of your head. We want our shoulders relaxed. We don't wanna be in this rounded, crunched up position. Um, so if your hips are tight, utilize blocks or utilize pillows. Now, another modification is you can just come to half lotus. If you're not ready for full lotus, you could come to half lotus. So let's start back in Dandasana. And then we're just going to come to regular Sukhasana, which is easy pose. And rather than tucking both of our feet inside of our hip sockets, we'll just tuck one foot inside of the hip socket. And that's half lotus. So again, we're rotating at the hip, not the knee. Tuck it into the hip socket. And here you are in half lotus. You can do it on the other side. Rotating at the hip. Bringing the foot into the hip socket. Again, nice and tall and straight. This is a great uh, pose for a seated meditation. It's a great pose if you just want to give your hips, your groin, your knees, and your quads a stretch. So just practice with the different modifications and see what works for you best. Hopefully this video helped you to get into Padmasana. Let me know if the modifications help you. Let me know how you modify, if you use blocks, or if you don't use blocks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.